Hello guys, I'm going to be starting a plant tea vlog this afternoon. It is Friday, it's kind of like 2-3 o'clock. I cleaned off the countertop and I have some water and I brought out my fertilizer. I think I'm going to take everyone out of my plant room, kind of plant by plant. I am going to set up a station at my kitchen and at my dining room table back there. So I'm going to inspect everyone, not with a microscope because that would be too much work. I mean, I'm just going to check for any obvious pests and then I'm going to water everyone really good and fertilize everyone. I use a slow release fertilizer and I actually have a new one that I'm going to be using. I'm still going to use Osmocote Plus, but I'm really excited to use this new one. I just came across it when I was doing some research and it's another slow release and I'll show you um, what it is when we get started. So I think I'm really going to like it. It has a better NPK and it also has calcium in it, which Osmocote Plus does not. So I think overall, and it lasts longer, I really just wanna make a list of plants that need to be repotted, plants that maybe I no longer want, plants that I need to chop, and that way I can somewhat organize it over the next couple months and just gradually get all my repotting done. Yeah, there's a lot to do, and my plant room is overrun and overcrowded, so I think I'm just gonna take plants out of there that I don't want in there and then I'll leave them out here until I can get the other plant corner set up. But I probably won't get to that this weekend, maybe sometime in the next couple weeks. I'll get to that and then slowly over the next month or two, just get all my repotting done. I'm gonna come around here. I also have to keep an eye on Luna this weekend because, sorry if my you can hear my dishwasher, because she was limping on her leg this morning and I took her into the vet. They think that she has a luxating patella where her joint pops in and out and she may need surgery if it's not better. I don't know if she was born with this or she just was like rough playing with the other cats or she like jumped and hurt herself. I honestly don't know. It just happened, I guess, sometime between yesterday and this morning. So I'm kind of worried about her. I hope she's okay. And I have to make sure she doesn't do any crazy jumping or anything. So I do have some pain medicine for her if I, if I need, really need to give her some because I don't want her hurting and in pain. So yeah, it's gonna be watching her this weekend and taking care of a lot of my plants and cleaning. I know this was a really long intro, <laughs> but that's kind of the synopsis of this. And you'll see kind of bits and pieces of me throughout this weekend. I'm gonna finish getting everything that I need out here. I actually have some food in the oven. I'm gonna eat, I am starving. And then I'll probably, you know, get working on watering and fertilizing here. I need to add these to my watering jugs. I have a couple pre-soaked. I use the mosquito dunks for fungus gnats. And I change them out more frequently now just because I use so much water. And once the dunks kind of soak for a bit, like a few times, I don't like to reuse them anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and let these soak. Ugh. is like what in the world. I took their collars off for a little bit too. I ordered them some new cat collars because they were getting kind of old. Um, I like having them wear their collars in case they escape outside or you know they somehow get out as just like a precaution. But it's weird not having them with their collars on. And let me show you guys the new fertilizer. So this is Osmocote Plus. This is what I've been using. I have this bottle and one other bottle that's pretty much brand new. And I bought these at the beginning of the year. And then this is the new fertilizer here. It's called Dynamite Select. And it has an NPK of 15.59. And this one actually feeds up to nine months. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. It has a better NPK than Osmocote 
and it actually has calcium in it, which Osmocote Plus does not, that you can see all the nutrients there. So I think overall this is going to be a better feed for my plants. And I got this off Amazon. I actually have three bottles that I bought because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to fertilize everyone. And the Osmocote Plus, I don't know if the NPK is written on here or not. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. Oh yeah, there we go. 15, 9, 12 compared to 15, 5, 9. So the nitrogen is the same, but a better potassium and phosphorus level. I'm still going to use Osmocote Plus. I'm still going to use it on <laughs> a lot of my plants. I think I might use it on my outdoor plants or plants that I plan on putting outside and maybe some of like my non-favorite plants because it's still a great fertilizer. I love Osmocote. It's done so well for me, but I really think my plants might respond better to this. I don't know. I just have a better intuition about this one. So we'll see. He just wants all of my attention. They all do all the time. So I might just start bringing some plants here to water and spray them off and fertilize. For plants that have the sachet still, these are probably going on four or five weeks since I put these on, at least a month. So I don't really think there's too many beneficials still alive on my plants at this point. So I'm gonna be tossing all the bags and I gotta go get my cleaner and spray the leaves off. I love my Monsteras. This is only two of them. And basically plants that I know don't need to re be repotted, I'm not you know, gonna be repotting them. I love the coloring on this one, it's so pretty. Yeah, so. They look fine. So for the new fertilizer, I'm trying to see how much to use. Okay, so for a six inch to a one gallon, it says two thirds of a capful. Two thirds of a capful seems like a lot. Ooh, look at that. Look at the coloring. It looks so different. Do you see that? There you go. Do you see the coloring of that in there? It looks so cool. Compared to Osmocote Plus is just all one color. Well, pretty much. It's just like more basic, I guess. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell the fertilizers apart, honestly. I think I will. This one has more yellow and gray bits compared to more beige. So I don't think I'm going to label which ones are which. I'm thinking something maybe like that for a six inch, two thirds, roughly. And then I'm basically just going to sprinkle it on top of the soil. And then just kind of use my fingers to mix it in to kind of the top inch. You know what I might do is I might find some Sharpies and mark on the container with an F that I fertilized and maybe an, maybe I'll write FD for dynamite and an FO for Osmocote with a Sharpie. I think I will do that because I don't want to forget, you know, what I fertilized and I don't want to forget which one's which because once it's in here, I might get a little confused. <laughs> All right, so I just mixed it into the top layer here. That's what it's looking like. And then I'm just gonna give her a good soak. And the thing about these holes too is when I water, it kind of like drips out the side and it doesn't drip 
on the bottom. So I'm actually going to get a saucer tray and water these over the saucer tray so that it can sit in that water and absorb up a little bit too. Tap water has a lot of minerals and like salt buildup and stuff will happen over time in your pot of plants if you're just watering with tap water. So you have to flush, just give a good soil flush out to get rid of all that buildup. So rainwater, you don't necessarily have to flush like that. Okay, I found a black little Sharpie marker and I have a bin here and some saucers. So I'm just gonna water these over there so that I'm not wasting a bunch of water and the excess can just wick back up. But I wanna give these guys a good drink. Since I use a really chunky mix and my plant room gets over 80 degrees in there during the summer, pretty consistently. My soils dry out very, very quickly. I usually water and let drain, but over the summer, I can tend to water and not let them drain per se every time if they're sitting in a cash pot, which most of them are, and they'll just kind of wick up the excess. Since I fertilized this, so this is, again, I'm gonna write FD for fertilizer dynamite. Yeah, I think I'll put the date. I'll put like 223 for February. Cause I think Sharpie can come off of plastic with alcohol. I think I can like erase it and write on there. Although the FD kind of looks like FO, FDY for dynamite. <laughs> I feel so good about fertilizing all my plants again. And I am gonna be spraying these off again with my mixture, my pump sprayer, because in case there's any flat mite transfer, I just wanna spray everyone. Or if there's any like leftover spider mites, I just wanna take care of them and just knock them out. another two thirds of a cap full. And then we are going to, that one there, sprinkle it in here. This is my OG Monstera Albo, the one that I grew from a single leaf. I love her. She's my favorite Albo. I'm just all about time saving when I water my plants because I water so much. Like during, I would say during a normal week that I am watering, I use, and I'm including my moss poles, I'm using between, I would say easily 15 gallons of water, 15 to 20 gallons of water when I'm watering my plants every week. And sometimes that ends up being twice a week. I go through a lot of water. <laughs> That's another benefit of using rainwater, it's free. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of excess water in this drip pan, so I'm gonna let my elbows soak up in this. And then I will get the rest of my, I have two other elbows in my Aria. And then while those are soaking, I'll be spraying the leaves. When I'm doing a thorough clean, they're like, some of them sit on saucer trays and I have a lot of plants and cash pots. I like to clean these out every once in a while because 
of just, you know, I just feel like pest can hang out, larvae, I don't know. I just, oh, I just like to clean them with soap and water every, every month or so, whenever I'm like cleaning really good. I just take an old like scrubber and just some dish soap and just clean them. This is my pump sprayer. I only have one and it's already filled with Azamax to here. So I'm just gonna finish off and use Azamax to spray the plants down. And then after that, I will use probably just a horticultural oil because I don't wanna waste Azamax. Azamax is a miticide and I was using it for flat mites, but horticultural oil I feel like is a good like preventative to use. And I'm only doing this just because of flat mites, I don't want to have to necessarily go crazy and check every single plant, you know, with a microscope. And I'm just gonna like spray my plant leaves down. That way it's cleaning them at the same time and, you know, of dust and stuff too. And that way they can have time to dry before I put them back. So I'll either use the oil after this or I'll just refill it with Azamax. I'm going to put my gloves on. Yeah, definitely when you're using stuff like this, just if you wanna wear a mask, gloves, just to protect your skin. I normally do this over my bathtub, but I feel like just out here, there's more airflow, that way they can dry and I can easily just wipe my counters off. So after everyone is done, so this has been fertilized, watered. I'm just taking a mental note. Um, this one does have some roots coming out of the bottom, but it doesn't need to be repotted right now. And once they're kind of dried, I will be putting them back into my plant room. All right, that is four plants down and a lot more to go. I'm gonna probably take a short break and eat this potato behind me <laughs> and um, I will resume back. This is my main Monstera Thai constellation and it severely needs a repot. <laughs> Look at that chonky root, you guys. It is desperately in need. My other baby Thai, needs a repot too, an upsize, so I might do that for a video. Repot some monsteras. The albos are fine, but these guys need a repot. I think today I'm just gonna fertilize, and then when I go to repot, it'll just be a quick backfill, and whatever fertilizer's in here will still keep, because I'm not gonna get rid of anything. So I'll probably do that soon, and I have a list here. I'm, as I'm going through, I'm making a list on who needs to be repotted. I'm also going to make a list for any chops I want to do. And then I'll probably, instead of making a list, I might just make a pile of plants that maybe I just don't want anymore or I just want to maybe downsize. We'll see. I definitely um, am going to make a list because I just feel like it would better help me organize kind of what needs to be done. My monster Aria here, it's working on a new leaf. Finally, it's been two to three months since it gave me a leaf last. I'm like, okay, where's the new leaf? I think I might upsize this one too. I did repot my beautiful Aria on my channel, but I didn't go up that big. And I feel like, I feel like it might appreciate an upsize. So I might do that actually with my Monstera Tycons. It would be just an easy upsize. Whoa. Let's see. 
I love my Aria. She's seriously one of my favorite plants. And I'm always paranoid checking for pests. Peeling these brown bits off are so satisfying. Almost a capful. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? This new leaf looks to be really pretty. I can tell it's gonna have some nice variegation on the stem. Some of these taller ones, I actually, once I'm done watering, I feel like it's kind of a pain to spray this miticide out here at the sink. I can do it for smaller ones, but I think I might just water and then put them in my bathtub, spray them all let them dry and then put them back. I would love to get through them all by tomorrow. And that way Sunday, I can spend Sunday cleaning and maybe putting some plants outside. And I really wanna do my hair and my closet too, just like non-planty stuff. I was hoping to get that done this weekend. So we'll see, I might try and get through my poles and my cabinet tonight if I can. We'll see, it is only 5.30 right now, so I have plenty of time to do this. I also want to edit tonight. I want to try and get another video up this weekend. I don't have to get it up tomorrow, but I might, I'd like to get it up by Sunday. So I'm probably going to need a good five or six hours to edit that video and upload it. It's not one that's going to take a super long time to edit. So I might work on that a bit later tonight because I feel like I have to go in sections. I can't do all of my plants in one go because it stresses me out sometimes. And that's when you know you have too many plants is when you start to feel stressed with your collection because sometimes I have been feeling stressed lately with my plant collection. One, because they're growing and they're getting bigger and then I feel like I don't really have the space in my plant room anymore. I honestly was not expecting my plants to grow and get as big as they've gotten in such a short amount of time between when we moved last year to now i'm just like what happened you know i know obviously i knew they were going to grow but i did not know they were going to get so big so i'm going to let that sit in bottom water for a minute hey guys just popping on it is probably a few hours later i honestly i haven't gotten through much watering at all i know i've maybe done like 15 plants and i sort of just i'm not feeling well i think just the stress of today with luna and she came back in and a different paw was limping so it's gotten me in a mood and then my head started hurting and I'm just getting like really stressed. I went into my plant room and just got so overwhelmed with the amount of plants that are in there. I think overall with just the growth, I'm just, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed and stressed. And then I sat out here and I'm like, I need to utilize the window space that is here in other areas of my home so I can get some plants out of my plant room. I think that's what's stressing me out because I have so many plants crammed in there. My moss poles are squished. I'm finding some like fungal spread on some plants because there's just not enough airflow around them because I have all of them jammed so close together. I'm actually, I think I might just rearrange a little bit tomorrow and just as I clean and take plants out because I was like, getting ready to put the plants that I have, like my monsteras and stuff. I was getting ready to put them back in, but then I'm like, wait, I need to like move the shelf and clean behind it. I need to take the hanging plants down before I put them back. So then I was like, I can't, I don't feel like doing any more tonight. So yeah, I'm a hot mess. I think I might just maybe edit a little bit tonight and take a shower and just relax a little bit. Good morning, guys. It's about 6.30 and I honestly, I don't know how much plant stuff I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to take Luna back to the vet this morning 
It honestly, it's killing me having her limp and just be in pain. She's like not her normal self at all. It's just weird because it's like the opposite arm. Like I thought it was her back paw. And I just gave her her last dose of pain medicine that they had given me because at the vet she was perfectly fine. And then it's like when she got home, it's like happening again. So I don't know if she was just really anxious at the vet and didn't display anything, but she's clearly hurting and in pain and I can't take it. This medicine's supposed to make her sleepy. I'm hoping she can sleep a little bit and I can get a little bit more stuff done until we hear from her regular vet that we see here. If I don't hear anything, probably by like mid-morning, I'm gonna take her back in. Maybe sooner, we'll see. If she sleeps a little bit, that'll give me a few hours to do some more plant stuff. I don't know if I mentioned my husband went out of town too, cause he's been working extra at his job and he's been working like the past two weeks straight. So they wanted him to work this weekend too. And he's like, no, I've literally worked the last 15 straight days. I am going to go see my dad this weekend. I haven't been up this early in a while. I could not sleep at all. I have like a pounding headache. I've had, the headache started yesterday morning and it has not stopped. I think I'm just stressed with Luna. It started like after I noticed Luna was limping. I'm trying to keep her locked in the bedroom, but the, the other cats aren't have any, having it. I kept them all locked in the bedroom with me back there last night. And I brought like food, an extra litter box, and they kept digging at the door, wanting out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna have to somehow restrain Luna to a certain area, I might have to get like a, a gate. And hopefully she doesn't try and jump over it. Because the door, they like dig at the carpet and they destroy the carpet, so. So yeah, I think I might just take some medicine, maybe just eat a quick bite here and drink a cup of coffee and yeah, I might just vacuum in there and just see how the morning goes. I probably won't be back on here for a little while, depending on if I'm taking her to the vet this morning. I'm gonna try and get what I can done, but we'll see. I'm gonna see what all, I guess, happens today. But yeah, I didn't mean for this to be like a bummer vlog. I just, it just was so unexpected. I was not expecting all this to happen to Luna. Hi guys, just popping on. I It's about 8.30, it's only been two hours. I've showered. I gave Luna her last dose of medicine that I had for her, so she's sleeping right now. But as soon as she wakes up, I'm gonna take her to the vet. I still haven't heard from her normal doctor that's been seeing her, um, that sees all of our cats, so. I'm not gonna wait around. I'm gonna take her back to the emergency vet that I was at yesterday just to have her shoulder looked at. It's just so weird. I keep checking on her. It's just, it's so not like her. She is such an active kitty and the whole vibe is just off. These cats are just like, what's going on? So I'm trying to do some stuff in here while she's sleeping. I'm trying not to be too loud, but I've kind of cleaned this off and I repotted one plant that's in the bathroom and I think I might go ahead and repot. I think I have enough soil. I just made one more bin up there. Um, I don't have that much soil left. I'm going to have to order more, but my rattlesnake calathea was super root bound. And I know, I don't, not sure if that one's so root bound, but I know my tree or star is root bound. I might go ahead and upsize that one while I'm here. Hey Chai. And then yeah, this is almost cleaned off and then I'm just going to pull that out and vacuum. And I have so much to do in here. This whole corner seriously stresses me out. I have so much stuff, you guys, slammed in here. So I'm gonna do my best though. I'll probably set the camera up so you can watch me repot her down here. And then, yeah, I'll just keep fertilizing and keep watering until I can get through everyone. We're going up to eight inches from a five inch because they're too, too root bound to go just to a six inch. Normally I only go up one, two sizes, but I'm gonna go up three sizes for these guys because yeah, the soil is pretty aerated, but they're just going to 
be so root bound again in a few months. So that's what I'm gonna use for her. Oh, she actually is in a six inch. I thought she was in a five inch. She's not as root bound as the rattlesnake Calathea. Oh my gosh, that was so root bound. I should have showed you guys. I did it, I was filming it for an Instagram reel. But usually when I start to see some roots at the bottom, I know they're starting to be, to be root bound. I just made a fresh batch of my soil. I have to order more. I have like a tiny bit of Fox Farm left and I'm out of orchid bark. So this is just my mix. It's Fox Farm, Perlite, orchid bark and charcoal. And I'm gonna add actually a little bit of LECA into here. I, I like adding the LECA balls. I have a few bags of LECA that I haven't used. So I'm gonna go get some and plop some in here and then we'll get to repotting her. What do you want, buddies? really loud. I hope I didn't wake her up. She's not overly rebound. Definitely not like the rattlesnake Calathea. That was, oh, that was bad. So I'm just gonna put her in here and fill around. here and this is an 8 inch so I'm using pretty much a full scoop the upsize, which I'm going to have to not be able to use any of these pots anymore, which is really sad. I don't have any cover pots for the 8 inch, so I just set them on saucer trays. I get these big plastic 8 inch ones off Amazon. They're, they come in a set of 10, I believe, and they're like maybe like $28, which isn't bad. I feel like that's a good deal for 10 of them. grow lights are starting to come on. I think they come on at 8.30. Some of them come on at different times. Some of them come on at 8. Some of them come on at 8.30. These ones aren't on yet either over here. Oh yeah, she's root bound. Look at that. Not as root bound as the rattlesnake. Do you see? Definitely was root bound though. These calatheas are going to go off. Getting all this extra room to grow. Ah, 
She looks so good. I'm so glad I filled these guys out. They're going to love, love this upsize. I need to get more water now. <laughs> Good morning guys. Well, it's actually almost noon. It is Sunday the next day. The last time I filmed was yesterday. I was trying to do some repotting in my plant room, but Luna had um, waken up, she was in pain, and then she, I gave her some medicine and then she slept. And then probably like 45 minutes after I had done some repotting, she woke up meowing. She was just in, she was just not herself, not feeling good, was in so much pain. So I ended up taking her back to the emergency vet pretty early yesterday and spent like all day there. I think I got home at like five and I kind of spent the evening with her. I tried to do some plant care in my room and um, while she was taking a nap, I had given her an anti-inflammatory and I think it helped. She was able to, she just felt better. She was eating a lot more. She wasn't hurting as much. And this morning, she's hurting again. So I'm gonna give her medicine a little bit early here. She's sleeping right now, um, cause it's once a day to help. And I just feel bad that she's hurting. They didn't really find anything as far as like why she's having the lameness in her arm. So I don't know if she just like had some sort of injury. There wasn't any fracture or anything. So I'm trying to keep her off of it and she's been, she's being pretty good. Like I know it's hurting her. So she's trying not to walk on it. Um, and she's kind of like sleeping a little bit more, which she did have a temperature, which I think was making her not feel well. So I'm going to see how it goes today and tomorrow with the medicine. She's got one more dose today and tomorrow. And then I'll probably follow up with her doctor and just see what else you know, depending on how she is and how she's acting. So yeah, today I have, I didn't really get to do much plant care last night because while she was sleeping, I went into my plant room and I was getting ready to take all my hanging baskets down and water them and vacuum behind that shelf so I could put these like plants back. And I found a ton of ants, you guys, all over the place, crawling all over my hanging baskets. So I currently have all those in the bathtub. I had drenched them all. And now I have to go back in there and make sure there's no more ants in there before I put my plants back. So I sprayed around the outside of the house last night and then my husband is coming back um, probably in a few hours and he is gonna stop and get some ant bait and I'll just probably put that in a few of my pots, maybe around my room and it'll, it'll like trap any of the remaining ants that are in there. I'll probably pop back on, you know, throughout the day. And yeah, we'll probably continue tomorrow a little bit and probably end this tomorrow at some point. So I will be back on later here. And yeah, I'm just gonna take care of some plants and keep an eye on Luna the best I can and just try and get through it. I haven't updated you guys in a little while. It is heading towards, I think, four-ish o'clock. 
I haven't gotten much done. I was editing, finished editing that video. Luna had woken up from her nap and I was trying to give her her next dose of her medicine. She's in here sleeping. I'm not letting the cats in here if I'm not in here because I don't want anyone trying to jump up by this window, you know, where they like to sit in the sun. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on her. But I did get this whole thing organized and so I have to do, I'm going to do my moss poles next and then everyone over here needs watered and fertilized and I haven't watered and fertilized my cabinet. Literally everyone in here needs to be done minus this front section. This front section is good. So I think I'll just, I don't think it'll take me too long for the poles because I'm honestly, I think I'm just going to take them to the tub and hose them off this time and it'll wet the moss poles and I'll just like throw a bunch of fertilizer in their pots and I'm actually going to be taking I think I might chop go ahead and chop that one and then I don't like the syngonium albo it's just like literally one vine so I might chop that one back and then I'm going to be chopping those two and I still want to chop my micans because I just don't I just don't like this so I think when I take all these down and I'm going to like you know clean and vacuum I might not put these back in here until I can fix them or I actually might just put some out there because I'm going to be rearranging out there in the next few days I think. I love the way my plants are growing but I hate that they've gotten so big and I just don't have space for them. I think once I, I mean like look at this regal shield, it's like massive, look how huge it is. And they're only going to get bigger and that's like the thing that's stressing me out I think. So yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting rid of probably a lot of these plants. Or I think I'll feel better once they're less cluttered, so to say. Yeah, I don't know how much more filming I'm going to do. If I do like any other plant care, I'll put that in here as far as like, I have a couple plants that I think I want to chop, you know, because they're stressing me out. So I'll probably do that and show you guys. We're gonna chop this real quick. This is my variegated Adansonii that I imported. These are the import leaves and you can see, I haven't extended it in a while. It is literally like here. I've neglected this and I don't like how it's like one skinny vine. I don't know. I'm gonna chop it, I think. I lost a leaf here, so I'm going to chop right below that and get rid of the extension. So I'm going to be chopping right here. That'll leave me with one empty node and then one, two, three, four, five. I'll probably do five cuts and save like and do a two leaf top cut. And then I'll probably end up like planting them back in here at some point. I think that's what I want to do because I just, I just don't like this. And I was going to root these in water, but I do have a lot of roots that are in this moss. So I actually might keep them in moss. I might just fill this glass face up with just like tap water and kind of leave the moss together, if that makes sense. And I'm going to remove this extension. I didn't extend this right anyway, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. Actually, I might leave this piece here. So I cut below here, right here, and then I have one node and it's rooted in here. So it'll produce a new leaf on its own and then it'll grow a new one from the node below. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's see, I'm going to open this. Try 
trying to be really quiet. Luna is sleeping right in there. She's been sleeping for hours. She is so tired. I know the medicine's probably making her sleepy too. those moss roots in there. So what I'm going to do is cut between each node. So we're going to do one, two, three, and this one hasn't even rooted because it was off of the pole. are going out. <laughs> it's getting dark. So I have a top cut, a mid cut, another mid cut, and these aren't really rooted at all. I'm going to pile this moss in here. So this one is rooted here. So I am going to keep that rooted in here. gave myself an extra pull, which I do need because I'm almost at these. I basically just had to feed the roots through the front of it and yeah. So these were already rooted into the moss here. So the moss is getting dry, but I don't think the roots would be jeopardized if I let these ends callous a little bit. So I'm going to let these callus in here and these fresh three cuts callus and then I'm going to stick them all and root them all in moss and then I'll have six cuts. I probably won't keep these all but I'm going to probably keep a couple to add back into here and then we will let this one regrow. I just didn't like the way it was growing. I actually have several chop projects I'm going to be doing. Good morning vlog. I'm going to show you my pole area and what I did and then I'm working on the other half of my room and I'm trying to like keep an eye on Luna. I had just put her outside for a little bit. She's sleeping but I don't want her jumping or anything like that and yeah I'm excited to finish up in here so I can get some plants outside because I want to film that for you guys. So let me show you what I did and then I have to make room. I took 10 moss poles out of here and I'm gonna have to make room for them. I think I was saying that last night, but I don't remember now. But let me show you, because I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so I ended up just leaving one plant spectrum light, because I felt like two for this spot was a little much, because this room is pretty bright as it is with the window in here. So I have a Friduck Alocasia corner. So I put my big Regal Shields here, my Friduck here, and it was like right by the window but it honestly was so squished. And my silver band maranta that had flat mites, I hadn't seen any new flat mites on it and it's kind of isolated down there. So I'm just gonna leave it there and hopefully it'll do okay in that little corner. I feel like just these big plants are taking up a lot of space so I didn't wanna overcrowd it with a bunch. And let's see, backing up. So as far as my moss poles go, this is what's in here. And it's so much, I feel like I'm missing more poles. I want more in here, but I just don't have the space for them. I could possibly put a couple more on the opposite side of me and take a few of these other plants out, but we'll see. So I have my Monstera Esqueleto there on the end, and then my Glorious, my beautiful Marble Queen, 
my varicosum, adansonii, splendid, cebu blue. This is my other micans. I'm gonna chop my bigger other one. And then I have my melanochrysum back there, my epi panatum albo, and then my dubia. So it looks a lot more spacious. It looks a lot better. I'm happy with it. And I think on the bottom, I'm gonna do some Hoya down there just to like fill in the space, I guess. So I was either gonna move that shelf in my bedroom here. Um, I wanna do something here, like a shelf here and add plants. I'm thinking about doing, this is all north facing, ignore the cat boxes. They, they're normally in the bedroom, but Luna's in there right now. So I want to redo this setup and put all of my, probably my marantas that have flat mites. I might do like a maranta area and some lower light plants in here on a shelf um, instead of my plant room, just because we have so much space and I just need to like utilize the space over here, I guess. But for today, I'm just going to focus on cleaning and watering and that'll probably be it if there's anything else I'll probably show you once I'm finished with that other shelf what it looks like and then stay tuned for a video on like putting plants outside and I'll do like another video on like rearranging the other areas of my home. So that is the plan for today and we'll see what all I can get accomplished with Luna trying to keep an eye on her. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is like eight o'clock in the morning on is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. It's Tuesday. And I am up and dressed. I've been up since six o'clock this morning with the cats. Luna's sleeping in there. And I didn't really get to much yesterday. I really was trying to get this room finished. But Luna was really active yesterday evening and I was trying to keep an eye on her, making sure she didn't jump on anything. So while she's napping, I'm gonna try and take advantage of finishing in here. And look what I did, you guys. <laughs> look, this shelf is completely different. Do you see back there? So I took that thing, a shelf out of there, and no, I took two shelves out of there because they're down here on the floor. And so I made like a big compartment. I might put a few more poles there um, cause it's pretty tall and I think I'm going to take my big monstera out too. He was right, like right there in that corner cause I don't know. I just don't have enough space for all the plants in here. So I'm going to make a pile out there of plants that there's, there's a lot of plants that I have neglected and I know coming from me, like having neglected plants say what pretty much every plant on this like middle and back shelf this <laughs> this way was neglected because they're either just plants that I just don't care about too much or I just like shove them to get them out of the way but honestly I was just watering them and that was it so all the plants are now on my dining room table and on the floor out there a lot of them I do need to repot and chop and take care of and I need to I need to water and clean a few more plants here. And I have several poles that I'm gonna be chopping and I think I might take a couple plants off of a pole. Yeah, so I think today too, I might film a couple random repots. I think I will just do a series of like random chores, repots. It'll be repotting, chopping, and anything else I need to do to get through this shelf and then I will repot the rest of my plants at some other point because I have so much repotting you guys. I probably have like a hundred plants that need to be repotted. I'm not joking. And I, I have around what, maybe 200? I probably have a hundred. So it's a lot. I have a lot of repotting. I'm not going to film it all, but I will be filming what I can. So out here is a huge mess. I have plants that were on that shelf all on the floor there. And 
pretty much all of these either need to be repotted or chopped. And I think once I take care of a few, then I won't feel like I don't like them anymore. I just feel like I have too many plants and it's stressing me out because I haven't even like taken care of any of the plants out here yet. And I still have some plants on my table here that I need to put away. I was gonna try and put plants outside today, but I think I'll wait till tomorrow. I think I at least want to get through a few like repots if I can sit down and film a couple like repot videos and get this plant room somewhat put together and then I will focus on like, rearranging and taking care of the rest of the plants in the next day or so. I had really high expectations thinking I was going to get this done over the weekend and then everything with Luna and she still may need to go back to the veg if she's not getting better and that's going to take some time and one of us has to be here to watch her so she doesn't try and jump on anything and jump down. So that is the plan for today. He went out and then he's um, going to be bringing me a coffee. I'm tempted to make my own cup of coffee until he gets back, but he might not be back for a couple hours. I'm going to try and hold off, but I'm really tired. I'm going <laughs> to need some coffee soon. I might go ahead and film another video real quick while Luna's sleeping. That way I can take advantage of my husband not being here and her being asleep and the cats or other cats are outside. So maybe I can get through a quick repotting video. So I'm gonna do that first and then I will be back on here at some other point throughout the day. So I'm making some progress in here. You can see this shelf. I'm slowly getting it put together, but obviously I have a ton of plants and no space. I really like that I took this big shelf out. I chopped my global green. You can see how big the new leaves are getting. And I can probably put a couple plants, maybe here, here, one more there and there, maybe a baby one there. And then I have like a spot down there and that's it. I think I might put my ficus outside. I need to repot it, but I'm gonna wait until I can do my video for that like putting plants outside. I want to repot that one in my succulents. And this one here, I think, I don't think it needs a repot just yet. You see how big it is? It's literally taking up so much space. I really want to do like a top cut and chop this long straggly growth that has happened. But I might do that a different day. I might just hose it off and stick it where my monstera was. I think that space will be big enough. And then I might put like two, three plants here. I have a couple anthurium out there that I need to put back in here. And I might just leave my ficus in here temporarily until I can get it outside. So a lot of these plants still need to be repotted. Like so many of them. I have a lot of allocation that need to be repotted. But for them, they're not like dying to be repotted immediately, so it's fine if I get to them at a later date. And a lot of my plants, um, I need to get all of my like alocasia corms and stuff out of there. But I think I'll save that for some other videos. I think I might just go ahead and water my cabinet. And that'll pr pretty much be it for now. And then this is just a box of random props that I need to take care of. All of my syndapsis are in here. And I don't have much of an update for those yet, but I'll probably move those um, somewhere over here just to get them out of the way. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to put all of my favorite plants in here, but I'm kind of picking and choosing some of my favorites. A lot of those out there I still like, but I've just let them kind of go downhill a little bit. So I'll work on those eventually. I think I might just put a grow light out there by that table and hopefully I can get to repotting them from like now through like mid-March and that way they'll be all done and taken care of. And then my goal, you know, is to set up some other space as I put plants outside. And then hopefully, and then I'll slowly come back in here and repot the rest of these. Hi, Chai. I do have one more thing that I want to do with you guys on this vlog. I have these plants in this little terrarium. I chopped them before we moved. So I chopped them April of 
No, it was March of last year. So they've been in here almost a year, these little nodes. So I'm gonna pop those up real quick. They're little painted lady nodes. There's four in here, that's all that survived. I had a ginormous painted lady in the old house and I chopped it before I moved because it had come down with thrips. At least I think it did. I didn't wanna like chance me bringing them here. So I chopped it back. So I think I might take care of those on here with you guys, these needy cats. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set you up and then take care of these little props. All right, so these are the painted lady nodes. This isn't, this little glass cabinet I got at Walmart, it's not weather stripped, so it doesn't hold humidity in or anything. If I can open it. I've seriously neglected these. So there's four in here. You can see all neglected. And yeah, they're basically just a node and the cutting. I feel so bad I've neglected all these. And here's the other two. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do two and two, do two separate pots, and I'll probably end up keeping one and then getting rid of the other one once they grow some and establish. Chit chai buddies, not right now, come on. You were just sleeping, come on. Ch -ch -ch. Not all mommy's filming. They always come while I'm filming and it drives me crazy. <laughs> it's like they had all day. <laughs> Okay, so basically these are just in moss. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of moss and then I have my five inch. These are my plastic nursery pots. I have two. So we're just, we're not gonna add a stake or anything like that. We're just gonna plant two and two and that'll be it. Luna's awake, so I'm trying to do this before she goes crazy. She's more active at night, but I am thankful she let me do a lot of stuff today. I don't want her walking at all. Well, I mean, I don't want her walking around very much. That was my stomach, I'm getting hungry. It's like heading towards six o'clock, I think. So yeah, here's what the node looks like in the moss like all rooted in there. So I'm just gonna remove the moss the best I can. Like I said, this has been like this since March, I think of last year. I probably, I imagine I probably have some rot going on just because they've been so neglected and underwatered. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop them up. I think getting them potted up will be the best thing for these. Here's another one, how oh, it's all rooted in there. Surprisingly, this is coming off very easily. For as long as that's been in there, I'm surprised they don't have more roots. I guess because I've just been neglecting them. Some of them does have a little bit of rot, but I'm honestly, I'm not gonna worry about soaking them or anything. I'm just gonna pot them up. Another little baby. Oops, fell right in there. I was gonna do four inch pots, but I figured since I was doing two each that it would be a little too small. All right, so we have two here here and we're basically just going to pop 
pot them up. Need to add more soil. Looks like this. Because these guys, these guys haven't gotten any nutrients at all. I feel really bad that I've neglected them. I kept saying like, oh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. just been on a roll today. It's just like, I feel so productive today. They'll kind of like fan out and kind of go towards the light source. I'll have to give these a good drink. That's what that one looks like. And I kind of buried the node down in there. It's okay. The soil doesn't sit wet for very long. I'm not, honestly, I'm not wor too worried about them rotting. Cause it wasn't like in a, you know, super humid environment. I think they'll be fine. I'll just water in some super thrive and I think that they'll adjust okay. There's that one. And then the same thing for this one. You guys could only see my bathroom and how messy it is. I have never seen that bathroom so disgustingly messy. <laughs> little babies done. Good morning. It is the next day. So it is Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. It's the first day of March. Happy almost spring. And last night I cleaned out my entire cabinet and I watered and fertilized pretty much everyone. I didn't really fertilize a couple plants that much because they really need to be repotted. So most of the plants I did fertilize minus a few. And whenever I go to repot those, I'll just fertilize them. So I'll give you a quick look at my plant room. I still have a ton of plants. Well, not a ton. I have probably like five to 10 plants I'll probably put back in here and the rest I will create space somewhere else. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I think I have just a bunch of random footage that I'll put together, but I'll give you a quick rundown of what I have in here so far. And yes, that'll be it. This shelf looks 10 times better, you guys. I can't tell you how stressed I was with this shelf. Everything was so neglected over here. And again, I took that shelf out. I took two out, so that is a lot more spacious. I had those tall, thickly poles up on top and it was just way too cluttered. It looks so much better. 
and I'll have to use those pots down there eventually. Those are some pots I haven't used yet. I have all my syndapsis rooting in there, that little project I'm doing. I have a lot more plants, you know, to put here. I could definitely add a few more here and a couple, like maybe one more there and there. And I'm gonna be rearranging this. I am gonna put the ficus outside, but I'm not putting plants outside just yet. So I just have it back there in the corner for now, but I'm probably gonna add like three or four plants back here in this corner. And I put this big one here for now. I think I might chop it, but I don't want to just yet. So, and I'm gonna be chopping this beauty too because it's doing this every other leaf reversion. And my other one that you know has completely reverted is out there. I haven't put that one somewhere yet, but I don't know if I wanna keep that one. I might try and get rid of that one. This shelf here looks completely the same. I repotted those three big ones and I gave my Monsteras a lot more room. It's gonna be a little backlit. And I took the hanging baskets down of the two Hoya that were blooming because the ants were coming in. And so far right now, I don't see any more coming in with the tarot, but I'm keeping an eye on that. The Syndapsis shelf looks the same. I have a couple that sat alocasia up there and I can probably put one more plant here. And I moved my Linearis over here. It was just getting too much light by the window and I really do need to repot it. It is, it, it definitely needs an upsize. And you guys saw this corner. I put my alocasia here, the two variegated ones my regal shields, and then my silver band. That one had flat mites, but it's kind of isolated down here. And I didn't see any more when I checked and it. Overall, it seems a lot happier. So I put him back in here. And then my moss pull section, I completely changed. I got a new leaf coming in on the Escaletto there. And so, yeah, it looks a lot different. So many like less moss poles. Although I do have a few here that were over there, like these three I put there, and then there's the, you know, the taller ones there. And I have to find somewhere to put my prop box. I got I'm gonna be taking care of a lot of these props. And I did put some like Koya plants down there for now, just to kind of fill up space, I guess. And I do have one extra Barina light. Those are the shelves I removed. And I have one extra Mother light that I'll probably set up in the other room once I get the plants in there. I think I'm gonna need to get a plant shelf. But I think the one here is enough light with those lights and the window light. I think, it, I think it'll be okay. And then my cabinet looks about the same. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave the Jessiana there trailing or not, we'll see. And I could probably, I took my beauty out, so I'll probably put, I can put something in there. I ended up repotting a lot of these little ones last night into a soil mix to get them out of fluval. And a lot of my other alocasias and stuff are growing down there. And a lot of those corms are sprouting. It's just so much more spacious and yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be adding, I'll probably put another plant back there, fill this out a little bit more, just a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy. And then, you know, add a few more here. And then I might add like another Maranta, maybe down in here and maybe one more over there once they're kind of out of quarantine. And that's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna be able to come in here, not feel stressed, I can see everyone. And yeah, it just feels so much better. Luna's sleeping in there. She's still doing okay. Definitely, um, if she's not really doing better by like tomorrow or Friday, might take her back in. I messaged her vet to see if there's, um, you know, something else to help manage her pain while she's kind of resting. So we'll see, but I will keep you guys updated. This is a hot mess. I have to clean this bathroom up. And I have those poles that I'm gonna be chopping at some point. And these are gonna be going outside. I'm gonna repot them, these snake plants. I'm gonna repot my succulents together when I put plants outside. 
I'm going to be putting that back in my plant room and my crystalline and back. I don't know about the squamy because it takes up too much space. I honestly, I'm not really in love with this Jose anymore, so I don't know if I want to keep him. I'm going to be chopping my begonia. This one won't fit in my plant room, but I do need to move it. It's been here like five days. It's not getting any light. So I really need to move plants outside so I can redo that corner over there. This is my um, flat mite quarantine zone. I have to recheck and spray. I sprayed a couple the other day, but I didn't get to a lot of them. I just didn't have the time. The original beauty, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that one. <laughs> my huge monstera that was in my plant room, I that huge leaf, hopefully you guys can see, it's a little dark, let me see. There, that's better. <laughs> yeah, so this huge monstera I had in my plant room, but it's too big, so I think I'm gonna put this one outside in the lanai. A lot of these plants I need to repot. These were these plants were literally all stuffed on that shelf and it was stressing me out. Some of these plants I don't wanna keep and then some of them I'm just going to repot and maybe just take cuttings and get rid of the rest. I haven't decided exactly. And I have one more moss pole that I need to put somewhere. Yeah, and other than that, I just have to, you know, like I said, redo that corner, redo the other bedroom, and I'm gonna set up something in there and redo. So yeah, overall, I feel like I got a lot done for this vlog, and I feel so much better about my plant room space. It's just, it feels so much better coming in here. I don't feel stressed. I don't feel overwhelmed. And yeah, eventually as my plants grow, I'm gonna have to take plants out, move things around, chop plants, all of that. But overall, it just, I feel so much better in here and it makes me so happy. So <laughs> yes, I definitely, if you are feeling stressed with your plants, clean, rearrange, downsize, get rid of some plants and just even like repotting and changing the look of your plants and creating more space. I feel like a cluttered space causes stress. So if it's not cluttered and it's clean, it's gonna make you feel so much better. <laughs> So I appreciate you guys watching this vlog. Thank you so much if you watch this all the way through. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And yeah, stay tuned for a lot of like crazy plant repotting, chopping, all kinds of stuff. And then stay tuned for, I'm gonna make two separate videos, one on rearranging some of the other sections and then a video on putting plants outside. So stay tuned for those. I'll probably film those I just had a cough. I'll probably film those. Hopefully I can get one filmed by the end of the weekend. It all depends on Luna and how she's doing because if we have to take her back in, that's going to take like another day and then watching her. So yeah, it all kind of depends on her and how she's doing it. I'm like coordinating doing plant stuff around when she's napping. So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later.